awesome. Are you ready? You ready to try it? I mean, might as well. You look like you're. you're... I mean, I'm. Yeah, I'm getting fidgety. There's yeah. a ball, and I'm. I got cleats on, so. <laughs> like rose bowl. I yeah. don't want to stand in your way, so. Hey guys, I'm about to visit a makerspace called the 49ers STEM Leadership Institute, and why it exists is pretty cool. When our local San Francisco football team, the 49ers, broke ground on their new stadium five years ago, it was vital to them that the organization also contribute to the local community. They looked around and they made some inquiries and they discovered a startling fact that only 3% of local high school students were graduating with qualifications necessary to jump into STEM-related higher education. And they decided to remedy that in conjunction with Chevron and the Silicon Valley Educational Foundation. And they've built a pretty amazing six-year program. Let's check out how it works. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. A pleasure. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's our pleasure. This looks like a fun space. Welcome to the Fab Lab. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So today we wanted to prototype something and have the students make stuff with you. We talked to Jesse and the 49ers. They mentioned that one of the challenges they have as kickers or people on the field is that the ball just falls over. And so the students were given the challenge yesterday to ideate, prototype, create something like this beautiful Whoa. version. Oh, that's magnificent. So this was an initial prototype. Uh -huh. But to create some sort of prototype um, and then work through it with you around how to better hold a football. So we have Jesse, and then I know Brandy is coming later, and so they're rushing around it now trying to figure out what their designs are going to look like. And did, may I, is, there's a specific probably a protocol of exactly the angle it has to sit at, is that correct? Yeah. Well, kickers, uh, certain kickers love different angles. Oh, and okay. I've, I've seen that the mm. kicking tee evolve over the years. But there's still a challenge in windy conditions where the extra mm -hmm. guy on the kickoff team will have to hold the ball for the kicker because right now the tees can't hold the ball oh. in windy situations. So hopefully this challenge can uh, take us to that next level. Brilliant. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see what they're doing. Yeah, okay. so we can go see these guys first if you'd like. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hi. 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 So, uh, Tell me what you guys are working on. What's your thoughts? So since a football is normally placed at around 75 degrees, our idea is um, to keep a small triangle and some supports around it uh, to hold the ball up. And the kicker can simply come around from here and kick it up. I, I think it's great, this creativity, because it not only impacts the kick, but it also impacts the game, because uh, right now they have the extra cover guy come to hold the ball. That hurts the coverage team. So if they can create ah. something that uh, allows that guy to be an extra defender, right. that's the impact that this has more than anything. I see you guys are prototyping in cardboard. What, do you, what is the final material going to be? We're using 1 8 inch thickness wood. Oh, OK. A plywood. Yes. Do you guys have any questions? And we're like, where are you at? Are you ready to cut out a plywood, do you feel like? Or are you still iterating and working out a solution? Uh, right now, we're kind of still iterating. And we're kind of working on calculating the angles the s secondary supports would need to be at. We're using some 3D modeling to try to help with that. The thing about uh, prototyping with cardboard is that it's mostly trial and error. And we can narrow it down pretty easily once yeah. we have a physical prototype. Yeah, cardboard's one of my all-time favorite materials. So this is the next group. Mm -hmm. We're going to see some different designs. They're the ones who initially prototyped hey guys. these guys. Hello. And I will let them take it from here. All right, so um, for, uh, for the design for the tee, we knew that when the foot comes in to kick the ball, that it's already traveling up, so that we didn't we didn't want anything to um, interfere too much with the foot because sometimes even though it won't interfere with the flight of the foot, uh, it can get inside the mind of the kicker, and if okay. they know that there's an obstruction there that they can kick, then it could affect where the kick goes and how they kick the ball. Sure. So we came up with an idea where the football will be uh, tilted a little bit back, so that way. When when it hits the contact point, we know that it's already facing the direction that it wants to go. So then these two poles uh, will be just holding it uh, stable, and there will be another indent where we can, uh, it'll hold the tip of the ball. So what is your, what's your, what material are you guys thinking of making this out of? Well, I don't even know what those two little poles you had are. Uh, these are, these are three printed. Three oh, okay. Printed. And the base would be laser cut in. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it'd be a cardboard base. 
yeah. a cardboard laser cut base with yes. 3D printed stocks on it. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you was almost ready to cut it out and see if it works? Yeah. 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 Right now we're just figuring out dimensions of the base. Yeah, and then we'd be ready to cut it out. To make Fantastic. It as as the drawings are wonderful. Did you guys do these drawings? Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's wonderful. I mean, I can really clearly see. Mm -hmm. you're, they're really communicating well. That's awesome. Um, you will find that skill will help you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Being able to explain something like that that yeah. clearly. I like the fact that you guys take the mental part of the game into it because you, got, you guys watch games when the field goal kicker doesn't do anything the whole game and then comes in at the critical time. And then the opposite team calls timeout and they call it icing the kicker, right? Because that goes here. And the fact that you take that into consideration is a great thing. That's awesome. All right, I'll leave you to it and can't wait to see how your design prints out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, you guys. Thanks, guys. So this is our final design. We found that a football, the center part of it, the diameter of it is seven inches. So we made it 6.8, so it could be resting a little bit below the at the center of the ball. Uh -huh. So when you when you were to kick it, you wouldn't have it. So it, if it was holding up here, it could actually clear through. We also made it out of one full piece of wood, so it's structurally sound, really well made. And this top is open so the ball can fly through and go out. Down here, there's three spikes, and the three spikes go into the ground, and you can change the angle as much as you want by just taking it out, and it grips it from the sides here. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. So I have a couple of questions. One is, let's say, I mean, the kicker is, they're, they're the best at what they do, but even the best laid plans, he could actually <laughs> miss the football, mm -hmm. so it, wow, that was <laughs> the hardest one. thing I've done all day. <laughs> um, one seems to me that you might want to have these pieces be breakaway or be able to move with the mm -hmm. foot so they don't get in the way, and the other question is, what does, what utility does that part on both sides bring to the design? It strikes me that you could eliminate that and eliminate even more potential interference for the foot. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. This, by the way, when I first heard this challenge, that's kind of what I was thinking of in my head. So I particularly like this idea. But Not biased. That's called bias. That's, that's really awesome. Oh, look at that. You've got a ball standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I love how different it is, mm -hmm. right? It's, may I? Yes. Yeah. OK, so it's actually pretty stable there. Mm -hmm. And it's meant to be kicked from this side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we avoided putting supports on the side so that it wouldn't really interfere with the kicker's kick. Mm -hmm. And right. also, uh, we made it so that you can switch out all the triangles supporting the ball in case you want at a different angle. Like oh. right now, we have it at a pretty high angle, but we also had an earlier prototype with a much larger angle. Mm -hmm. Lower. And presumably, with some more iteration, you can you don't have to glue these yeah, yeah. in; they can just be a press yeah. fit. Yeah. 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 Yes. What do you think? I love it. I love the flexibility of it. You might want to put some rounded edges on your triangles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's would, a good that would idea. hurt. Are you guys ready to test this one out? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go, guys. Okay. Yeah. Look, it's the sitting right. May I? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So the angle's adjustable. Feel that? It's like it's barely holding on to it. It's given its like. Ooh. <laughs> it's like it just enough. It. Just enough. So you can adjust it. Huh? Just if, and it's specifically on. Yeah, there we go. When it's on that side. Guys, that looks, that's amazing. You've like, I mean, chosen this perfect amount of space that gives it just a little bit of grip. I mean, we, we weren't intending for, for the football to be like adjustable that way. No. <laughs> like, we were actually... That's an accident? Yeah. yeah oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we we're intending to change the angle by like just taking the entire design and like sticking it sideways. Right. Okay. I see. But that could also... Yeah, yeah that's where it's fine too. Yeah. That could also... 
That's, I love that that's an accident. Yeah. That's good. So we gotta try this one out, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. You guys wanna try it? Let's take yeah. this outside. Yeah. Adam and Jesse, but this is Brandy. She knows a thing or two about kicking. Hello. So she's gonna be assisting Ooh. us with actually trying out your design. So this is the first one that they prototyped, got some advice back from both Jesse and Adam. And, uh, well, good luck. I, I like the way it looks, number one. Thank you. I think, you know, I think initially when I thought about it standing on the T, I always felt that the T was kind of obstructed the way. So this looks it's like, too big. yeah, it was too big. This well, looks pretty good. These guys actually considered the mental image of the T that the kicker would have. They wanted to get out of their way, both physically and mentally. Isn't that right? Yes. yes. Thank you. You knew that I was a mental midget. I think and that's <laughs> wonderful. Awesome. Are you ready? You ready to try it? I mean, might as well. You look like you're, you're... I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm getting fidgety. There's yeah. a ball and I'm, I got cleats on, so. Like Rose Bowl. I yeah. don't want to stand in your way, so. That's very good. It was so it's powerful, I, there. I broke your tea. It's mostly it's there, it's okay. Mine has, <laughs> has three. Well, it has two more, it'll still work, I think. Okay, so how did that feel? As if it wasn't there, which in my opinion as the athlete means that it worked perfectly. Right, Yeah. right. You didn't notice it, you didn't feel didn't it. Didn't notice it, didn't feel it. Well done. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. High Excellent. fives. Yeah. <laughs> Job, Very, nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, how'd you guys do? Let's talk about it. Um, well, we we had the idea, we had all the materials that we needed, but uh, one of the materials that was the most important was time. And, uh, <laughs> yes, it, it's we, we difficult to manipulate time. it. And so in the design process, uh, there's a hidden step, and that's the step of failure. And so <laughs> once you fail, that that way you can uh, you can recollect, you can gather up all the things that you learn on your prototype or whatever prototype number it is, mm -hmm. and then you see what you did well, you see what did uh, what you did wrong, and then you can improve. Right. And so. Uh, failure is not always the best option, but it's also a learning opportunity. It's, Dude, that it's is, important. It's totally important, yeah. and I love how articulately you just put that. That's <laughs> incredible. Fantastic. So what were you going to do? So originally we were going to have, I'm just, okay, we were going to have both these prongs going inward. Okay. For more like, so the kicker's foot could travel better and it would have um, it would more support for the ball as well. But we didn't really have time and we were kind of rushed, so we ended up putting it upwards. And then just now, one of them fell off. <laughs> so, yeah. so we didn't really glue it on as well as we could have, but I guess we, can, we'll, we know and we'll do better next time by we know where to glue and more to apply more glue. Excellent. So here's what I would say if, I, if that were working and let's say you had it upright I would say that this material is a little bit hard right so if you make okay. if you make contact with that with your foot that could interrupt that ball yeah. uh, it could manipulate the yeah. trajectory yeah, yeah, yeah. the height or the distance so also maybe I would think about the material of, of this oh, in the next one that that you do but I like the idea of it being with the kick because that makes sense because the ball can lean back yeah. into into that angle, which would be good. Yeah. Thank you guys for being right willing over. to show us yeah. the unsuccessful attempt and talk so articulately about it. Um, high fives. Excellent. <laughs> well good done. Job, job, <laughs> and lady. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this sets up. All right. Aesthetically, it's very beautiful. Back in the old days, before Jesse, because he's a young man, played football. Before Jesse, before Jesse played football, kickers came straight on. Yeah. So this would be actually a fairly decent <laughs> prototype for a kicker from a long time ago because they kicked with a square toe. Ah. But now kickers kick more in a soccer style, like me as a soccer player. So they come from this angle. So if you imagine if I'm going to plant my foot here and I'm going to hit this ball, ah. th this is going to be right. Right. So if you took your if you took your design and you turned it sideways and you stuck it in the ground, can, may I take it out? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And it held your. So can you help me? Yeah. So let's say your your design was like this, and it had the prongs down here, and it held the ball like that. Then I could come from the side. Right, right, and right. And it could still have the integrity yeah, of one yeah. piece. Yeah. 
So you want to put it back and then we'll give it a try straight on. <laughs> Sorry toes about this. <laughs> My toes right. don't have that, like literally they would be square toes in the old right. football shoes right, 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 and it would be course. kind of like a protection for your toes. So I'm going to see how this works. You ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> not as not as pretty. Not, not as pretty. pretty. <laughs> but it still did the job of holding the ball. Yeah. I think in terms of the outcome or the objective is to allow the kicker to kick it, it needs a little tweaking. It requires you to do this needle threading yes. that is taking your concentration away from just kicking. And that as well, yes. Right. But I like that I actually think it's nice that the concept is it's one piece. Yeah. It it, it can um, kind of the integrity of it is important. I think that's good. Um, and obviously the material is going to have to be different, right? Man? Well, yeah. <laughs> the material would probably be a little, you know, and that's the hard part, right? I think finding the material that, that works. Remember, once it's been kicked, it's going to stay on the field. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So that's right. a part of it, too. Every kicker is different. Right, where they want to hit the ball and how far they want it or where it needs to go. Yeah. So your design could be really good for a population of kickers because they'd be like, oh, this is at the right angle, the right height. I could come through it, maybe get a little bit more height than, yeah, yeah. than normal. Excellent. Good job. This program is fantastic. In many of the videos in this series, I have covered grade school kids, which is absolutely a vital sector for us to reach with STEM and STEAM as an educational uh, framework. This program is different. They looked around the community and they saw a need and chose to fill that need by providing seventh graders through high school students with not just dipping their toes into STEM and STEAM, but getting fully immersed. It's a six year competitive program for academically motivated students. And from what I'm seeing with how these third year students are working together, it's working gangbusters. This is exactly how education should work up to and including the smell of cut plywood.